What's going on guys? It's your boy Jorito back with another video. See, I've been asking a little bit more about the C20, the 88 C20 that my boy Pete was building, the short bed conversion, and it's right here, right behind me guys, and there is an update. So my boy just picked up a used transmission for this truck. So what is this right here? So this is actually a 480E, so it's an electronic transmission. The transmission that's in my truck is a Turbo 400. It's only a three-speed transmission. This is a four-speed transmission, so it actually has overdrive. And so for those that don't know what that means, like, what does that overdrive mean? So the overdrive is more for like, you know, back in the day, the speed limit was only 55. Yeah. So if you're going 55 in it, it's fine. The motor sounds normal. But now if you're going 70, 75, it sounds like you're in first gear and the rev limiter is pegged out and it's just loud. Oh, like the RPMs know? are real yeah, loud. Yeah, and real yeah. loud, man. So it doesn't have overdrive and I want it to be practical use. So I want to be able to tow and stuff like that and drive it with, you know, with my kids on the highway and not have to scream with a microphone, you know, so. So this is this, this is not stock at all. This don't come like that. No, nah, yeah, the transmission in my truck is controlled by vacuum power. It's a turbo 400. This is a 480E, so it's electronically controlled. I know some of these words. Have you ever seen somebody do something like that? Yeah, I was, on some of the forums, I see people doing it because they drive their vehicles a lot. So they go with the overdrive transmission. And this transmission came out of a 92 Chevy 3500 Dually. What does something like that run, like brand new, you think? Probably like 1500 or two grand, depending where you get it from. I got a really good deal on this transmission and torque converter. Hopefully it's good. You won't know until you put it in. You got to trust somebody's word. But if not, I'll get it rebuilt. It's no big deal. But hopefully it's good. You know, I'm kind of on a... Not a budget, but I don't want to dump a lot of money into the truck right now until I go ready to paint it and you know, I'll do the interior and stuff. But right now, my main focus is to get it on the highway going, ready to work. So we got a lot of different feedback about this truck so far. I've, I've, I've gotten people asking about, you know, the short bed conversion because I don't think a lot of people have done something like that. So I think it's cool to do to see this yeah. and just one step further for this build, man. Yeah. What is this? I see you got. So this is from TCI Automotive because this transmits is controlled electronically by a computer and the one in my truck is controlled vacuum. So this system right here will actually allow the transmission to shift and to, and to run and it's got different settings. So if you could do like a racing application or a towing application, so it comes with the computer and everything. And then oh shit, so you need this for that transmission to function. work, correct, yeah. But it's a standalone system, so made by Fast, and it's got the screen, and you can have different programs. So I'm gonna have one for just daily driving and then one for towing, because I'm not gonna mm. be racing or anything. But it controls the torque converter lockup, it controls uh, the overdrive and shift points and stuff like that. So supposedly this is a really good system. I've seen everybody's using it. It's sold out online. I actually got a really good deal. I found this one brand new. What do these usually run online brand online new? Online from like Jags and other people that sell them and the companies themselves. It's anywhere from a thousand to hundred dollars. Damn, so that's almost so, just as much as the transmission almost. Yeah. God dang. But you know, this works for, for any GM transmission. So it's for the 4060, the 4065, the 4070, 4080, and the 485. So they say, I've read really good reviews on this, so that's why I wanted one. And they say it's pretty easy, no laptop or anything. The computer, you can tune everything on this and you can actually leave it in your truck hooked up. So you, they say you can like sh change the programs while you're driving. Now you, you've never done this before, have you? No, nah, I've never used one of these, but they say they're pretty self-explanatory. So I'll be reading up on it before I do it, like studying the manual. But you know, I know this transmission is 3.75, so three and three quarter inches longer than my Turbo 400. So I will have to move the cross member back a little bit, change the transmission mount. And then I think I have to extend my transcooter lines as well. But other than that, I do have to get an ex um, accessory because it's an electronic speedometer and mine's cable driven. So they do sell something for that I have to get as well gotcha. to make all my factory gauges work. So what is that right there? Is that uh, this, is, this is my stuff from a quick performance. So my, my truck's an 88, but it's got one serpentine belt and one V-groove belt. So this is everything for me to put 95 to like 98 Vortex Chevy motor, all the front drive accessories to make it all like one big belt and the newer compressor and the newer power steering pump. So like modernize the motor because it's mm. from 88. So this is the whole entire kit. And then we'll do a video on this with my radiator, my fans and all that one. I already have it in and just at work, I need to bring it home. But so if somebody wanted to do all this work, just parts alone, what are they looking at? Uh, I, like think all, I think all this from quick performance was like 650. 650. This, yeah, this brand new is 1,000 to 1,200. And then obviously the transmission you know, depending if you get a used one, like I paid 600 bucks for this in the torque converter. If a core, a core is usually four or 500 bucks. So, you know, if I had to get it rebuilt, usually a bench builds a thousand dollars. So, you know, 
it won't bother me if it needs to be done. But, but if it's rebuilt, it's practically brand new. Yeah, this is actually a GM transmission rebuilt already once, so I'm hoping it's good. The guy said it was good, but you know, when you get stuff off marketplace, you don't know what you're getting into. Yeah. Right yeah. But you know, and then the only thing I saw I had to get is the speedometer um, from electronic to cable driven adapter that they sell. But yeah. When are you planning to install this? When, when would you uh, want to st install it? After my vacation in March, but you know, we got your truck coming. Yeah. So I'll be pretty busy, but you know, my customers come first and you know, I got projects obviously. Yeah. You know, all four of these vehicles are mine. So, you, got you an know. OBS. Yeah, 84 Regal. 84 Regal. 99 Chevy 3500 that, that I'm bad. That frame over there, that yeah. 99. Yep. I said that's a 99, right? Yeah, it's a 99 C3500. That's the one I'm bagging. It's the frame off. And then you got the uh, 88. 88, the short bed conversion. Yep. And guys, like, I, like he said a second ago, we have my truck coming over here to Pete's Lynch Auto Workshop. And we're going to do some painting, some body work, um, all that good stuff. So y'all stay tuned for my truck as well. But like I said, I think this project's going to be something nice, something different. The short bed conversion. I know a lot of y'all have been asking about this truck man because this is kind of cool man I, I i've personally never seen something up close like this man because when i first saw it I, I was like that does look a little different that's not that's not that don't come out the factory that's that's something different man we'll keep updating the videos you know we'll do the transmission and then we'll do the uh, radiator swap and the electric fan conversion and all that stuff and then i'm gonna order an exhaust kit for it so there'll be plenty of videos to come up the whole process trying to get it you know on the highway and cruising 80 you know 85 and the motor's not screaming so yeah, but yeah guys like you said man y'all stay tuned for those videos i can't wait to do some more stuff on this because man this stuff is real interesting man this truck is something different one of a kind definitely so y'all stay tuned for the c20 build that my boy's building man and we'll, we'll come back with some more videos on it so you guys can check that out make sure you give my boy lynch auto works a follow obviously man he knows what he's doing out here so would you be willing to do something like this for somebody else like the transmission change oh definitely yeah definitely yeah i'm not a mechanic but stuff like this to me is like the custom side of things so yeah i'm definitely that's the stuff that intrigues me the most i'm one of the people if i don't know how to do it i'm gonna do my research and i'm gonna i'll do it on my own yeah and then i'll be able to provide the service to people who want it as well make sure you follow my boy lynch out of works on facebook man and hit him up if you need any of your work done from body work painting transmission work anything <laughs> like that trailer repair it's worth asking at least anyway so make sure you hit up my boy but y'all stay tuned for the next video man make sure you like subscribe and comment till next time we'll see y'all later